Oh, jeez. So many comments to write. Not enough time. Hey, it's a message from Bro Tank Max. Uh, stop living like you're in the 1300s. You're stupid. Use a computer. <laughs> How thoughtful of him. What's going on everyone and welcome to episode number 10 of Everyday Python Projects. In today's episode, we're going to learn how we can use Python to extract comments from Reddit. We'll be using PRAW and the API push shift that Reddit created to make this possible. There's quite a bit of code in this project, so I'm going to spend my time copying and pasting the code that I previously wrote and then walking you through it one line at a time. All right, let's do it. Mm hmm. You thought we were going to code, weren't you? Smash the like button now in order to get me to code. Please. We'll need to import the following libraries. Then we need to set up our developer account through Reddit. In order for this to work, you'll need a Reddit account, but that will only take a couple minutes to set up. Once you log into Reddit, go to this site. This is reddit.com slash prefs slash apps. Click on apps. Now I already made a test application for this, but if you don't have one, there will be a button here called click create app. Type in the name of your application here. Let's call this information retriever, then select script. For the redirect URI, put HTTP colon forward slash forward slash localhost colon 8080, then click create app. Now I already have it loaded up right here. Make sure to keep track of the following. This stuff under personal use script is the client ID. The secret is your secret code and the name will be your user agent. Now we can use Reddit's API like so. I highly recommend opening the files and extracting the information like so. It's a lot safer than hard coding your credentials into the script. Next, we need to get the ID of the post that has the comments we want to scrape. You can get that like so. So Reddit post URL is the URL of the post that we want to get the comments from. Post ID uses the Reddit object to get the ID of the post. Now you can see that the post ID is actually available right here. But if we write it like this, it'll be pretty easy to scale this if we start looking at hundreds or thousands of posts and we need to pass in each of the IDs like so. It'll be much easier to do it this way instead of trying to write this all manually. Next, URL is how we'll use push shift to extract the comments from that post using the post ID. In each post, all of those comments have an associated ID with it, and push shift will be able to return all of those IDs to us in a JSON format. So JSON IDs has a JSON of all the IDs from that post for each of the comments, and then comment IDs will extract each of those IDs from JSON IDs. So if we run this so far, we can see that we have all of the comment IDs. That's all of these right here. And it looks like there are 345 comments in this post. After this, we need to create an empty list to house all of our comments and a counter that will step through the comments in maximum increments of a thousand. Then we're going to create a second list called error links that will house any of the comment IDs that threw a JSON decode error. We're also going to make a list that will help us to delete any comments that have been removed or deleted by Reddit. Those will be very redundant, so we don't need those in our master list. Push shift can be slightly finicky at times. When I used this a couple months ago, I was able to extract 50,000 comments from a post, no problem. Recently, Reddit has had some issues with this API and it's resulted in missing comments. This post, for example, should have over 14,000 comments and clearly we're not getting all of them if we only have 345 comments. Reddit is usually pretty quick to fix these issues so I don't want to use another API, I'd rather let them fix it and continue building with what I have. Once the infrastructure is set up on our side, 
it'll work for almost any post, so it's worth taking the time to build it out. For some newer posts, Push Shift won't have all of the comment IDs just yet, so we're going to account for that here. Remember that we're able to gather comments for a post up to a thousand comments at a time. It's very likely that the number of comments in a post won't be an even multiple of a thousand, so it's natural for a tail to be present. Basically, what this is saying is if the number of comments is greater than the last increment of a thousand in step counter, we know that we have a tail. Why is that? Well, imagine if we had 3,900 comments. Step counter would have 0, 1,000, 2,000, and 3,000 as elements in the array. However, the length of comment IDs would be 3,900. Thus, 3,900 minus 3,000, which is the last element of step counter, is 900. And 900 is the tail that we have. Now, we're going to loop through the comment IDs and extract each of the comments. There's a few things that we'll have to consider here. First, we might have a tail that needs to be accounted for. Second, some of the comments may need to be removed because they're redundant, or they have to be cleaned so that it's easier to read. And third, it's possible that the API will throw an error and not extract any comments. First, I'm going to execute what we already have. Next, I'm going to paste quite a bit of code, but don't worry, I will walk through all of it. In this for loop, count keeps track of how many items we've passed in, and item is each increment in step counter. So we can see in the console, we have 345 comments. However, step counter is measured in thousands, so it should only have a value of zero. That's the case here. Step counter is an array with one element, and that element is zero because we don't have over a thousand comments. As for this if statement right here, we are checking to see if we've reached the last item in step counter. Right now, we're looking for comment IDs a thousand at a time. So let's take our example from earlier with 3,900 comments. Right now, we would be going from the first item in step counter to the next. So for 3,900 comments, it would be like going from zero to 1,000, 1,000 to 2,000, and then 2,000 to 3,000. This will work fine until we get to the last item in step counter, which is 3,000. If we try and go to the next item in the list, our index will be out of range. ID string right here effectively takes all of the comments in thousand lot increments and puts them together into one giant string like so. So here are all the comment IDs from our post. And you can see that it took all of these IDs and put it into one big string. Now, if we do have a tail, we can take a similar approach, except we will go from the last item in step counter up to step counter plus the tail. So using our example of 3,900 comments, we would be going from the last element in step counter, which would be 3,000, up to 3,000 plus 900, which was the tail, which means we'll be parsing the comments starting with the 3,000th comment up to the 3,900th comment. The neat part about this is that if we don't have a tail, this piece of code, which accounts for the tail, will just return an empty string so we won't be duplicating any comments or breaking our code. Then we're going to put all of these comment IDs into the link to retrieve the comments. So all of these IDs will be passed in right here, like just like this entire block. Now we have to write try right here because sometimes the push shift API won't retrieve the comments and we don't want our script to stop the moment this happens we should be able to keep trying and trying until we're able to extract all of the comments. So JSON comments gets all of the comments and comment list extracts the comments from the JSON. Notice that it says not in remove words. Up top, remember that remove words included removed and deleted with these brackets. It would be redundant to keep those comments within our master comment list so we're going to be removing those. Then we're going to append the comment list to our master comment list, and we're going to print a statement saying what set we're on 
as well as let the script sleep for three seconds so that we're not overloading the servers at Reddit. In this example, we're only parsing 345 comments. However, like I said earlier, I have done 50,000 comments at once, and it's nice knowing what set of comments you're on. That way you can identify any errors rather than trying to guess where an error might have occurred. This exception includes numerous errors to catch, but in the event there is any type of error with our comment IDs, we'll append both the count as well as the entire ID string to this list, error links. If there are any errors that we have to sort out, we can write this set of code. If error links is not an empty list, which is the same thing as saying while error links, we effectively repeat our loop that we wrote up above to try and extract the remaining comments. However, there are a couple things that I added. First, this is a while statement. So as long as error links contains an ID string, it will continue to try and extract those comments from Reddit. Second, if we're able to get the comments from an ID string, we should remove it so that we don't have duplicate comments. That's what this line of code does right here. It takes that ID string and removes it from error links. Once we're done with that, we can write the following couple lines of code to save those comments to our working directory as a CSV. So comment DF will take our master comment list, turn it into a data frame, and then save it to a CSV right here titled master comment list .csv without the index because that's just extra stuff that we don't need. Now, the only thing left to do is to run this and see if we can extract all of those comments. To see how long this takes, we can add this to our script to keep track of the time. We can write start equals date time dot date time dot now. And then down here, before we save it to our CSV, we can write datetime.datetime.now minus start. So let's run our code and see if we can save the comments to a CSV. So it took 6.33 seconds in total. Remember, we also did sleep for three seconds. So really it's 3.33 seconds. And I didn't see any statements that said we have an error. Just to double check, let's check the number of comments that we have. So length, comment IDs, 345. Now let's check our directory to see if we have a CSV with all of our comments. All right, so far so good. It looks like we have 341 comments in total, but remember our script did remove any of those comments that said removed or deleted. So it looks like we were able to extract all of our comments and save it to a CSV. There you go. You can use this on almost any post in Reddit to get the comments. Well, like most of the comments, like some of the comments, but that's only because push shift is kind of having some issues right now. Once you get those comments, you can perform maybe some kind of sentiment analysis or even just a classic graph to show the frequency of certain words and phrases and when they're said throughout the day. You could even do this on a per subreddit basis. Either way, it should be pretty easy now to modify our code so we can pass in a list of URLs and save the comments from each of those URLs into their own CSV. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button drop a comment below and make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. And then walking all of, and then walking you through